In our last video, we talked about identifying a problem. But a problem without a solution is, well, just a problem. My name is Arman Hezarkhani, and in this video, we'll discuss methods through which we can identify a solution. Welcome to the Developer Student Club Solution Challenge. So we've defined our problem. Let's say it's the college students on our campus find it difficult and time consuming to find places to study. We define this, as we discussed in our last video, through conversation. Now it's time to find a solution to this problem. The output of this step can be something like a tool that lets students reserve study spots on their campus, or a tool that lets students see their campus's real-time availability. We don't want to build or even design the solution yet. Those steps come next, and we'll cover them in the next two videos. Instead, we want to identify on a more basic level how students can find places to study more easily. One popular method is an exercise developed at GV, formerly known as Google Ventures, called the Design Sprint. Usually done as a five-day exercise, the Design Sprint is a flexible framework for solving problems through designing, prototyping, and testing ideas with users. It allows you and your team to validate ideas before going through all of the energy of building a product. On day one, you map out the problem and choose a specific target. So for our example, we would map out how students are currently finding study spots and who our target audience will be. Maybe college first years who don't yet know these cool secret places on campus. The second day is for ideation. You'll come up with as many solutions as you possibly can, and there is no wrong answer. My favorite exercise for this step is Crazy Eights, where each member of your team, on their own, comes up with eight ideas in eight minutes. Now we have this big pool of solutions, and the next step is to pick the best one. For this step, I'd recommend using the dot voting method, because it's super simple. Just have every team member hang their sketches on a wall and quickly present their solution. Then, when it's time to vote, have each team member draw a dot on the three solutions they like most. On the fourth day, we create prototypes. I'd recommend drawing wireframes and using a tool like Marvel to turn them into a clickable app or website. Lastly, we test our prototypes with real users. You'll conduct interviews and you'll find some patterns which will ultimately lead you towards the best solution to your problem. The design sprint is presented as a five-day exercise, but it's flexible, so you can do it on your own timeline. You should walk into this exercise knowing the problem you want to solve and leave this exercise with the solution that you are confident in. Problems are just problems until you've found a solution. Hopefully after this, you're one step closer to building a great solution that'll touch lives right in your community. 